hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation from here let's divide this as equation one and here as equation two then from what we have here subtract equation two from one that is equation one minus equation two and what we have in equation one left hand side is x square minus y then minus left hand side of equation two that's into bracket y square minus x close bracket then equals to 73 minus 73 that's zero from here then using minus to open this bracket this becomes x square minus y and minus y square plus x equals to zero from here and we bring the squares together so here we have x square minus y square then plus x minus y here equals to zero from here and here we can rewrite this as difference of two squares that is we have x plus y then into brackets open bracket x minus y close bracket then plus x minus y here which we can also put in brackets which is equals to zero from here then here x minus y is common when we factor that out we have x minus y then into brackets what is left here that's x plus y then plus one left here which is equals to zero from here then from here we have two possible cases which are x minus y equals to zero then the second one we have x plus y plus one equals to zero now on this side x equals to y then we should we should note that here what from what we are finding x is not equals to y from here then following the other side here taking one to this side we have x plus y equals to minus one then <clears throat> when we solve for that from here also let's add equation one and two let's divide this as equation three and keep this so also equation one plus equation two now from what we have equation one on the left hand side that's x square minus y then plus equation two on the left hand side that's y square minus x so y square minus x then equals to on the left hand side 73 plus 73 that's 146 then also from here let's group this squares together so we have x square plus y square then minus x minus y equals to 146 and then we can factor minus out here so we have x square plus y square minus into bracket x plus y then equals to 146 then since equation 3 x plus y is minus 1 then here we can put minus 1 here which implies we have x square plus y square minus into bracket minus 1 now equals to 146 which implies minus times minus is plus so we have x square plus y square plus 1 equals to 146 then when we take one here it become minus so we can have here as x square plus y square we now be equals to 146 minus 1 that is 145 and here let's keep this as equation 4 on this side then then from equation 3 here let's square both sides so we have x plus y 
equals to minus one then square this side also square this side that is here when we expand expansion here becomes x square plus y square plus 2xy then equals to minus 1 square is t1 then x square plus y square in equation 4 that's 145 so when we substitute here we have 145 here plus 2xy equals to 1 then taking 145 here become minus so what we have left here is 2xy which is now equals to 1 minus 145 that is here 2xy is equals to minus 144 that is to get xy here let's divide both side by 2 divide this side by 2 here this cancel out and we have xy equals to minus 72 from here and let's label this as equation 5 then also once we can get x minus y we can solve it with equation 3 but from the expansion of x minus y all square here yeah, we can get x minus y from here the expansion here will give us x square plus y square minus 2xy that is here x minus y all square will now be equals to x plus x square plus y square from equation 4 that is 145 then minus 2xy here and then we can bring 2xy or we can say 2 times xy and xy is minus 72 here then which implies we have x minus y all squared we now be equals to 145 minus times minus that's plus that's plus 144 from here which implies x minus y all square here same thing as 289 then to get x minus y here we can take the square root on both sides then the square root on this side here square cancel square root so here we have x minus y now equals to here we have two answers which is plus or minus 17. now we can solve this with what we have in equation 3 then here we separate this as x minus y equals to 17 and also we have x minus y equals to minus 17. then solving this each of these with equation 3 and which is x plus y equals to minus 1 and also here x plus y equals to minus 1 that is to eliminate y here let's add this side here we have 2x then equals to here we have 17 plus minus 1 that's 16 and divide both side by 2 here this we have x equals to 8 then we can get y from the same equation 3 since from equation 3 y equals to minus 1 minus x so we can use this relation now then if this is x1 then y1 will then be equals to minus 1 minus 8 that's minus x1 which implies y1 will be equals to minus 9 then we can say that x1 comma y1 on this side we give us 8 comma minus 9 then similarly when we solve this side we had this equation now we have 2x equals to minus 18 from here divide both side by 2 here 
then we have x equals to minus 9. Then to get y using this relation here, also y, this is x2 now, y2 will then be equals to minus 1 minus x2, which is minus 9 here. Then y2 here equals to minus 1 plus 9, which implies y2 equals to 8. Then, yeah, the second set of solution x2 comma y2 will then be equals to minus 9 comma 8. And here we have the solution to the problem. When we look at this x here, the value of x here is something as the value of y here, and the value of y is something as the value of x here. And here we have come to the end of the class. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn this notification bell on. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comments in the comment section. See you next class and bye for now.